The world of RE0 is full of various types of elemental magic, warrior arts, fantastical beasts, demi-humans, and reality-bending superpowers from the fearsome Witch of Envy. It would thus be easy to overlook something as unassuming as a little red fruit with a slightly different name, Ringa rather than Ringo in the Japanese, and for us subtitled as Appa rather than Apple. Yet as you watch the series, it's hard not to notice how often Appas show up around our main character Subaru. Two of the four reset points we see in the first season are in front of the same Appa vendor, and so Appas would repeatedly be the first thing he would see when brought back through the power he dubbed Return by Death, a power he received seemingly as part of the process of being summoned to this world and a mark of favor from the aforementioned Witch of Envy, Enemy of the World. Now, this video is based on observations we made during our rewatch of all anime adaptations in the spring, and so spoilers for all of the director's cut, OVAs, and shorts are possible. However, no information from the source or season 2 promotional material is included, and so please don't share any of that in the comments either. This is part of a short series to hype up our live coverage of the upcoming season 2. So then, to return to our main subject, how about them, Appas? Apples in our world have a variety of symbolic meanings and associations depending on the culture. There are several in Greek mythology, such as the Apple of Discord, the Golden Apples in Heracles' Tasks, plus the Goddess of Love was associated with apples, which I'll explore a little further in tomorrow's video on stars in RE0. Yet perhaps the most famous association for apples is the forbidden fruit in the story of the Garden of Eden. Whether they were actually meant to be apples or a different food is a debate that is besides the point. In centuries of art and popular understanding, the fruit of the Tree of Knowledge eaten by Adam and Eve is represented as a shiny red apple like the ones that are all over the series. Their catastrophic case of the munchies results in humanity's expulsion from paradise, as well as something else that is relevant to our series. This act of disobedience is how sin comes into the world, the original sin. The concept of sin is present in RE0, specifically the seven deadly sins. Satela is the Witch of Envy, but we also meet Betelgeuse, who is the Sin Archbishop of Sloth. We'll also have Puck make an offhand comment connecting the White Whale to Gluttony, and crucially, Betelgeuse will suggest that Subaru is Pride, or perhaps could be the Archbishop of Pride if he so chooses. We know from Betelgeuse that there are six seats for Archbishops corresponding to these sins, with Satila presumably fulfilling the role of Envy. Pride, Envy, Gluttony, and Sloth so far, it seems we should expect to meet Wrath, Greed, and Lust along the way, if we haven't already. Now, in the story of Eden, eating the apple of the Tree of Knowledge is an act of disobedience because Adam and Eve knew that they were prohibited to partake. They were tempted by the serpent, and so the apple came to represent temptation itself, a thing offered that may lead one astray. What I want to call attention to, then, is despite how often Subaru is around Appas, he never actually takes a bite. At first, he has no money and so can't buy an Appa, though it seems he would like to. This is still true on his first reset, when he comes back to life with an Appa literally held out to him. On his second reset, he is disoriented, and the Appa vendor takes pity on him. He is offering him an Appa for free this time, and Subaru almost takes hold of it. Instead, he catches sight of Amelia and runs off before ever grasping our symbol of temptation. In the mansion arc, when he successfully saves the village children from their doom, one of the families will attempt to reward him with a gift of Appas, which he refuses. So far, so good. Despite the proximity to Appas, he has not yet taken any, and though he has died a number of times, the thing he cares about, being close to Amelia, has gone rather well. It won't last. In fact, when he returns with her to the capital, one of the first things he does is revisit the Appa vendor, and this time, he comes away with a bag of trouble. Immediately after this, Subaru will meet Julius, which starts his jealous, insecure misbehavior. While waiting on Amelia, he will run into Priscilla, to whom he will actually offer an apple, which she does bite, creating an association that will factor into the next day. Back where they are staying in the city, 
Rem will be holding the Appas in the scene where Subaru is told he cannot go to the royal selection, and he makes the promise that he fails to keep. The next day, Rem will actually be holding the Appas again, this time in a display dish. She will also make an Appa-related excuse for why she would not have seen Subaru sneaking off to go to the selection despite his pledge. The actual way he gets in is due to Priscilla, who remembered him from the previous day and even jokingly introduces him as her Appa carrier. This gets him into the Royal Selection Hall, where he will proceed to make a grand fool of himself. And then he makes it worse, and then he makes it worse still. The thing he cared about is now slipping away from him. In fact, it was all downhill from the moment he accepted the Appas at the vendor. And it doesn't stop there. The attempts to save the mansion fail one after the other, leading Subaru to low point after low point as he must experience the deaths of most of the people he had been getting to know and care about. Each time he fails and dies, he is back in front of the Appa vendor, with Rim dutifully holding another bag of the fruit. In fact, even Petro will be carrying Appas in one iteration, right before Subaru's lowest point when Amelia is killed in front of him, and in the next loop he tries to simply run away. Now, here is what I think is the crazy part. On that next loop, when Subaru grabs Rim and runs, Rim will drop the Appas. In fact, we're treated to a close-up, slow-motion, dramatic rendering of them hitting the ground. We are meant to see them being discarded. What happens after this is the From Zero conversation between Rim and Subaru, where she basically saves him from his despair and turns the entire story around. All the things that had gone so wrong since first accepting the Appas begin to go right again after they are tossed to the ground. In fact, despite how often they were around up to that point, Appas never appear in the rest of the season. So then, if they were meant to represent temptation for Subaru, what was being offered? Rim is frequently the one holding them. Was the temptation to run away with her, to flee his shame, forgetting Amelia and everyone else? Petro will also be one who holds Appas, and at the very end of the director's cut makes it plain that she fancies Subaru. Is he being tempted here? Maybe not so much by Petra, but by the simple, uninvolved life of a villager? After all, he did have a moment in the first arc where he considered selling his phone and living a life of luxury rather than getting involved with Amelia once again. Or maybe Betelgeuse had the right of it, and the seat of pride would be Subaru's should he seek it. His own pride nearly led him to disaster already, so perhaps this would be a powerful temptation in the right circumstance. Who knows what perks might come with such a role? Because the last thing to talk about is the nature of the perk that Subaru already enjoys. You see, the temptation in the Garden of Eden was for fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Eating of it caused Adam and Eve to have their eyes opened. It was knowledge that was forbidden. Subaru's power isn't being restored to life. Simply dying and repeating would be no advantage. No, the real power is that he remembers what happened. He knows how events will unfold in certain circumstances, which is information that no one else has. What he gets from Satila's gift of return by death is forbidden knowledge. The shiny red fruit of Eden granted insight to those who ate it, and in exchange, sin was birthed into the world, including, of course, the seven most deadly. Subaru has the knowledge granted by a rewinding time, and the sins already exist. It would seem this is already a world of paradise lost. But that leads me to a last thought. I pointed out the discarded Appas and how everything seemed to turn around after that event. Yet the other archbishops remain, Satila remains and whispers in his ear, and more trials certainly await. Maybe the temptation of Subaru is still to come, and the Appa will be offered once more. In a low enough moment, it may prove tempting indeed. <laughs>